Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I want to demonstrate to you, our student, how to use the Nasara State University Learning Management System. Go to lms.unsub.edu.ng it will bring you to this landing page before i proceed i want to show you that we have a template that explain everything vividly this is the lms.unsub.edu.ng the page you type this on your browser and it will bring you to the landing page Follow this one by one. They are going to share it to every student. You log in your username, which will be provided by the ICT. Put the password, log in, then I'll take you through the whole process on how to assess the element. Now, once you enter the address here, it will bring you here. Now you click login or register, but there are going the ICT will provide the login detail, so we log in. Once you click the login, it will bring you to this page. You enter your username, your password. The default password for now is 1228. One, two. Click login. So it has logged in. It will bring you to this page. So on this page, you provide your first name your surname your email address so this will be provided by the uh, the email address is your university based ad email address you input your surname and your first name if you look at you see this red this one that is red means this the field here are compulsory you must provide this information you go down to the end, there is other field that is also compulsory. Look at this field also is compulsory. You must write your matriculation number here. And once you have done that, you click update profile. It shows that our profile is updated. So you go back to home. You scroll down. Once you scroll down, you see faculty and schools. You check for your faculty and click on the name for me i'm in faculty of administration i'll click on the name for the faculties that is not showing that are not showing click on view all so these are all the faculties in the school i'm in faculty of admin click on the name directly it will show the departments in that faculty click on the name of the department i'll click business administration then to show the courses that are online in that department. In this case, we have one, two, three, four courses. So I'm in 100 level business administration and I'm doing business mathematics one. So I click on the course. So it would bring me to the course page. So on this course page, we have course, we have grade, we have competencies. So this is where you can assess the course. This is the course name Business Mathematics. We have um, a welcome message here. Welcome to this class on bus 112 for 100 level student of the Department of Business Administration. We have a file which, is, which shows the course outline. You want to assess the course outline, click on it directly. Now it has downloaded. Let me click on it. So it has opened. This is the course outline for business mathematics this first semester. So you can see it clearly. Week 1, week 2, week 3, week 4, week 5, week 6, week 7, week 8, week 9. This lecture will go on for week 9 before revision. So that is the course outline. You can print it out. So that you have a copy of it 
then the first week of the lecture the lecture starts on 9th of may the first week is 9 to 15th may so the first week lecture is whole numbers this is the course description whole numbers are a fundamental concept in mathematics that encompasses a set of numbers without any fractional or decimal part so this is the description read the description and understand what this topic is all about now these are the this is the lecture note for the week one whole numbers this is the video for the lecture one this is the exercises for the week one so i'm going to look at them one after the other we we'll click directly on the week one whole numbers to download the material look at it it has downloaded the material this is the material so this material for this week one everything is explained vividly in the material and it is eight pages so you follow it one after the other you understand what the lecturer is saying inside i'll close it now Let, let's look at the lecture video this is the lecture video of whole numbers this video demonstrates vividly whole numbers. Let's click on it. So if we click on it, it brings us to this page. So we have uh, whole numbers here. Yeah. That is the previous one we shared. We have jumped to, if you want to jump to any section of the LMS, you can jump to here. Where this is the next material. So this is the link for the video. If you click the link it will take you directly to the video on youtube so we click the link so it has brought us to the uh, video my name is dr abdul adamu you could recall that um, our first topic from our course outline is decimal number system whole numbers a number is a word or symbol used to this designate quantities or entries that behave like quantities numbers are denoted by symbols the symbols that are used to denote numbers are called numerals so this is the video you can watch it it will explain vividly everything in the lecture click this arrow to go back when you are here we'll go to the next material from here directly you can access it you click on this arrow so it brings us to the exercise for the week after the lecture for the first week so you can click here directly it has downloaded review exercise for week one review exercise we have uh, 14 questions here ensure you go through it and understand the concept you have learned from the lecture note and the video so that is for the first week we can go to the second week now so when you come back here you see the second week starts 16th of may to 22nd of may so to assess the first thing which is the lecture material you click on it to download automatically so this is the lecture material is seven pages Look at it, seven pages is showing clearly. So you go through it, everything is explained easily. You can the way we can understand it easily. So we go to for lecture video. This is the lecture video. You click on it, just here. So look at the link here. Click on the link. To take you to youtube directly to watch the video the decimal numbers normally are digits to the right of a decimal point indicating they are part of a whole number part of a whole that are less than one if we look at these numbers 17.591 this is a decimal point the number seven is unit or ones the number one is tens. Now this the number to the left of this number of this 
all are greater than one. The numbers five, nine, one are part of this number that are less than one. So this part of this number that are less than one is what we call the decimal numbers. So that is the video. You take your time and watch it completely. Click this arrow to go back to the main page. So if you click here, we'll go to the review exercise for the second week. Okay. Click on the link. So it has downloaded. This is the review exercise for week two. We have nine questions. Take your time. Follow the lecture video and the note. You'll be able to solve this lecture. If you want to jump to anywhere, you click the jump to announcement. Everything we have shown for this course, you see them here. Assuming I want to jump to uh, whole numbers week one, I click here. Once I click, it will take me directly to week one lecture. We can see it clearly. If you want to download, you click on the link. If I want to go to week one exercises lecture video for week two i can click it directly to take me there so you can see it clearly this is the link i'll click on the link and once you have completed your course do not forget do not forget to log out but before we log out you can see on this course page other weeks will appear as well. We have student feedback. Students can give their feedback. We have the instructor's information, which will be provided. You can write comments, add comments for this course. Let me assume this. So this course is interesting you save your comment to save the comment so you can see the comment here so we have related courses so once you have completed for the day you go to this icon click on it once you click on it you log out so for more information like this you can subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the subscribe button Thank you for listening.